Yo, Snoop, thanks for that lurk. I appreciate it. Tipping us off here, a terrific performance of the National Anthem. And we'll be right back with more. Hold on tight and don't go away. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Jason Tatum. And his scoring numbers have been going in the right direction these past few years. He's gotten better and better at handling what those opposing defenses are throwing his way and, and finding ways to get his points all over the floor. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Drexler is out there with Jason Kidd. Then there's Pippen. Then it's Collins. And it's Vucevic in at the five. And for Boston, they've got Porzingis. Hardaway is out there with Jones. Then it's Tatum. And it's Nowitzki in at the four slot. And Chris, many players get rested down the stretch now. Talk about how that contrasts with oh, your play when I've you got were the in the jump. Lead. Well, you know, back then, uh, you know, whether you made it through or not, it was, it was you always hoped to because it was a badge of honor to play 82 games. But the truth is uh, player health is more important, and practice is so different. Back then, the practices were so much harder that you were getting it on both ends. So uh, hopefully the players can find a balance of rest and, and play. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. Here's Tatum. Goes up and lays it nice and Nice little play. Nice little play. You see the strength of Tatum already. Broad shoulder. Able to make shots through contact. All right, let's catch up with our side line reporter David Alder. Hey Kevin, I did speak briefly with Oklahoma City's head coach. Among the chief items of concern is the scoring versatility of Kristaps Porzingis. Coach said he can beat you facing up, back to the basket, running to the rim. Defensively, we have to keep him in our sights at all times. Damn it. See if all that Damn defensive rebounding. Pays off. Kevin, back to you. Struggling with that. And that's the seven-foot difference for Vucevic. Tough defense, contact. It doesn't do enough to throw off his ability to make that shot. Right side, Berzingis picks it out to Nowitzki. Tatum against Pippen. Tatum Damn, I had Pippen on skates, too. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Kidd. He's coming off a 13-point oh. game against New Orleans. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points in any way possible. And although the passes aren't flashy by any means, Nikola Vucevic, a very effective playmaker at the pitch. Oh, that's Vucevic got a fall. Very calm when pressed. Reads the defense well and makes the simple but impactful pass. Great in dribble handoffs. It's a big reason he averages almost four assists a game. Vucevic with the Dude, bucket. I can't get a rebound. Got to do more than that to stop Vucevic. So adept at fending off those types of challenges. Now Hardaway. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Here's Tatum and slam dunk by Tatum. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Passes it to Vucevic. Three-pointer. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Jesus. Vucevic has got nine. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. So when you're not connecting from deep, you got to mix it up. I mean, look to score inside more. They didn't do enough of that. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Collins. Ellis comes in for Scotty Pippen. And Kevin Porter's subbed in for Clyde Drexler. And here's Przingis for a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Oh, impressive ball handling from Tatum. I mean, it attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Porter kicks to Kidd. Oklahoma City gets a new shot clock. 
Here's Vucevic. Another shot. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not nice block, Poz shot Porzingis. Over. Let's go. That huge frame. Now here is Hardaway. No points in the game yet for him. Woo! Back-to-back -back -back threes from Porzingis. Let's go. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from D. Hitting them whites, man. I got to get them Jones greens, man. Porter. I'll take the whites, but I got to hit the greens. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Oh, shit. The wide open look here for Vucinic. And they come right back wow. with their own three-pointer. I saw a kid all by himself in the paint. I crashed in. Working just trying to help. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Novitsky's shot is no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Great team work. Makes some kids slippery. By a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way. And get a great look. Now here is Hardaway. He seems to always be finding ways to score. It was a foul on. 23 and a half points a game. Beyond the Illegal lead, screen. Are you serious? You can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. So Boston ends up going with a new group. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Oubre is checked in for Vucinich. Valanciunas. Nice D from Camby. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Here's Smith. He averages a bit over six points a game. Pass to Hughes. Over Porter. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Nikola Vucevic firing on all cylinders for the Oklahoma City Thunder. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Vucevic had 12 points. Oh, because he hit, like, hit threes. Damn. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and when you consider how the thunder are doing guys what do you think uh, great. at running guys to the backboard you could tell it was part of their game plan coming in yeah governing the split second chance opportunities i mean that's what has them in the lead right now all right, what do we got? We're down by six, second quarter. Trail by Let's six. go. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So the Thunder Five right now, we've got Ellis. My point, guys, is Uber way too fast. There Porter. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Pippen in at the small forward position. Porter passes to Ellis. Kicks to Oubre. But Trey... That one doesn't drop, and it's Boston the other way. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Yeah, I just love how alert Hughes is. Super talented guard who knows when one of his bow, guys is bow, now bow, he's bow. He's still scoreless so far in this one. This is to Oubre. On the wing, Porter. Hughes covering. Yeah, I got There's stuck. Porter on the assist by Oubre. I got stuck. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points in close range. Here's Smith. Oh, I missed. Inside. And with that, the Too small. lead is cut down to two on the bucket from O'Neal. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. 
Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. Today too small. Jamie O'Neal is going to take Does advantage of that every single time. Not at all. I mean, people like to say, well, our era had the rivalries were more bitter. Um, I disagree with that. I, I think guys are every bit as competitive today as they've ever been. That's good to hear. And Scotty Pippen just also have more exposure and opportunity to be around one another. Kids today, growing up, they've been playing against each other since the fifth, sixth grade in that tournaments when we played we didn't get to see the other top players around the country so I think that was one reason why you didn't have a closeness with guys that unless you were on the same team two let's go time, baby too easy. Jones has got himself going with the I have more greens with Eddie Jones than I do with anybody his release I just have his release down oh that's loose stolen it's stolen by Jones Nowitzki outside. Come on, no Nowitzki. Time and the shot that would have put them on top. Drexler with it. Hardaway picks him up. Drexler passes to Ubre. A rebound by the Celtics. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. It's not often we and one. see this oh. matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. I mean, who knows? If you want to look all the way ahead to the finals, it's possible these teams can see each other there. So both teams looking to make a statement in their first meeting of the season. It's tied up with that one. All Ubre tied up, Kidd. baby. Vucevic checked in Who's for coming in? Jason Kidd and Vucevic? Jason Kidd is subbed in for Ubre. Someone's got to get a body on Vucevic. I got to be shooting threes. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. That's oh, me. I got to I gotta be, I got to pay attention to Vucevic. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throw. Here's Collins. Come on. And finish off by Collins. And you can see Kidd's ability to pass truly is a gift. When one of his teammates is open, he is quick to get the defense. ball in rhythm. Now here is Hardaway. He's got oh, I got him again. But nothing on the board yet. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Leave it and open. I'm taking it. Automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stop to get the two points. Drexler against Jones. Goes up from the top of the key. Defense. There we go. Good board. No good. Celtics have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Tatum against Drexler. Outside Jones. Oh, I got him again. Trying to get open is Kavitsky. Oh, that was good defense by, by Pippen. They have been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Novitski with it. He's picked up by Kidd. Ah. By Pippen. One-on-one -on -one fast break. It's blocked. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Good defense. Good defense. So Boston ends up going with the new group. And as Richard also for Oklahoma City. Ellis has checked in. Seven left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Cassell. Pass to Zerbiak. Ah. To hold him in check. He's got it inside. You gotta have a body on him right away. Here's Kid. And again, Oklahoma City. No good. The Celtics with the lead. Cassell passes to Zerbiak. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Oh, we gotta do to get a green around here. Sleep by three. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now they need a basket. Get against Cassell. Here's Vucevic. Get out. 
Good. Come on, man. Who's getting rebounds? Finishing it off. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, GA, he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Second chance opportunity. So all right, up by one and a half. Is, they have to feel fortunate that they could extend that play. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Celtics out in front. They lead by one. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Out in front of the half is Boston. They lead by one point. Kenny, what's your view? For? Well, they've been great at creating good shots on a consistent basis. It's that simple. You win the game by easier baskets than your opponents. They've been doing that. And a good ball movement, good player movement, and good body movement is the big reason. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. They've gotten a lot from their interior offense. And it's been a Ooh, My defense is on point. That what am I doing? The difference in that. Oh, and to offensive rebounds. Yeah, That's I'm giving up too now. many offensive Say rebounds. goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Vucevic, guys, has been exceptional. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him, and he kept delivering. Boston's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Nowitzki is out there with Porzingis. Then it's Jones. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Tatum in at the three spot. That's the group for Brad Stevens. Man. Going here in the second half. Nice. Got it again. Got it again. Yo, these fake follows are so annoying. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect. Try to mute my alert. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Here's Drexler following the bucket by the Celtics. Jesus, come on, Eddie Jones. I thought you were better than that. How about the explosive vertical there? Not much you can do to stop Drexler once he gets to the rim. Dude, it's too the easy. They just don't. With the dunk. Just the kind of play they need in a they game keep, this close. They keep giving it to me. I'm going to keep taking it. They want from their floor leader. This is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Here's Drexler. Excellent D that time from Jones. And so it's Porzingis. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Three point lead. Kid against Tatum. Porzingis hits a two. Kid grabs the board. Oklahoma City shooting at 46%, making some buckets from about 19 feet. Oh, Man. And that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him, and let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. I should throw the Tatum's down. Hardaway kicks to Porzingis. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm in the throw with the Jones, not Tatum. For the lead, Porzingis with the block, and they get it back. Kucevic with the bucket. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Outside Hardaway. Nowitzki for three. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Nowitzki's got. So I can get the release. So if I can get the release on that, that, nice that play is deadly. So far in the second half, They're three for four. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and, and the fans. I don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. And a new group. 
group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Allen Junis, he's checked in for Vucevic. Ellis comes in for John Collins. Oubre is checked in for Drexel. And Kevin Porter's subbed in for Jason Kidd. Now, here's Oubre. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass. For the ah. Porter against Tatum. Porzingis trying to get free. And one. And the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That was a big offensive rebound. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? That free throw good from Porzingis. Porzingis. Seven, three. Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Now here's Porter. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. Won't give many chances. Hard away against Porter. With that <laughs> he is and he's just too fast. Put off the what Eventually, they're going to lay off. But the to me down. Until then, we're going to keep taking it to the hole. Looking to end the run. Ooh, It'll Scottie go. Pippen. The Boston lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Scotty Pippen. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And a new group in for the Celtics. Marcus Camby. He's checked in for Nowitzki. Willis comes in for Perzingis. Larry Hughes is checked in for Jones. And it's Dennis Smith in for Hardaway. Now here is Smith. Outside Tatum from downtown. Here we go. Three-point bomb. Tatum's got his third bucket of the night. Uh, has a great feel for where defenders are on the court. Tatum navigates himself nicely. The pass to Uber. Ellis against Willis. Shoots a fader. Misses off the right iron. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. So you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for him. And if you measure a player... Last 10 games, 25 points a game. Let's in 13 he's assists. Been very effective lately. Look at his assists in the last 10 games compared to the rest of the season. He's in the midst of a great run. Oh, first Ooh, free throw is got good. that one. Got and that one. Oklahoma City making a change here. Kids checked in. And he makes both free throws. No. They're trailing by 10. I think he just went up. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Come on, how does he get that rebound? Right wing and a wide open look for Valanciunas. A three-pointer, no good. Boston's gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Ooh, too good. fast, too fast. The last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Porter. And here is Kidd. Nineteen seconds left to play in the third. And the rejection by Smith. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Right side, Tatum. Over Oubre. And that Ooh. shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. 
And so it's the Boston Celtics up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. It's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard yes. skill assist here. Assist of the game. The Let's see what we got. Setup. This is where the NBA is headed. I mean, multi-dimensional big man. That was just That was nice. That was nice. And as we head into the fourth, right, fourth we'll quarter, up by 12. Back in the works, or if it's more of the Plays same from solid the first defense, three it shouldn't be able to and catch up. Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. John Collins Ooh, is out there. That's with not good defense. And it's Vucevic. Then there's Drexel, and it's Kidd in at the one spot. And he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he should. Solid in that in between. Smith, the best to Persingas. Kid against Smith. Back to Porzingis. This one for three. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number eight now on the night. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Kid, really just a nightly triple double threat. Big point guard who can score, pass, and also rebounds the ball. Come on. Where's the foul? Where's the foul? Lana Vitsky. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Austin making some changes. Jones comes in for Larry Hughes. Hardaway is subbed in for Smith. Come on, give him the ball. Give him the ball. Both free throws good from Kid. Both. Quick four points from Kid. We're up by eight Celtics now. leading by eight. Hardaway kicks to Nowitzki. Tatum on the wing. Straight in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And it's tonight. And it's out of bounds. The there you go, Penny. Nice step up the D. That strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Come on, get kid. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Ellis kicks to Drexler. They gotta go. They get a hand on it. Five on the clock. Hard away against Drexler. Outside Tatum lets it go from deep. Come on. Drexler's the miss. Where's the green? That kind of look too often. Here's Drexler and Drexler Jesus. Come on, Eddie Jones. And textbook. I mean, that move to the lane, you gotta tip your hat on that. One. Well said, Greg, and, and Clark with some major elevation on the slam. Now here is Hardaway. Outside Tatum. Back to Hardaway. Clock at four. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Drops in the tray. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Now here's Kidd. Feeds it to Collins. Damn. Finish off by Collins. Nice to see a power forward like Collins throw it down. We know he can hit a three, but go with the easy hoop. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Oh, 
and Scotty Pippins checked in for the Thunder. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David Aldridge. Hey guys, well I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys, things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Gets hit that was easy. It's too easy. Body control. Tatum's a well-coordinated athlete. The feed to Drexler. Damn. And dunk by Drexler. Oh, defense. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over defensively. That's just poor communication. Now here's Jones. But he gets the call and will shoot two. At 7-3, Porzingis is almost impossible to guard, especially when he's focusing on trying to score. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Easy free throws, easy points. 152 left in the fourth. Hit up top. Guarded by Hardaway. Here's Vucevic. Oh my god, how do you miss that? Porzingis has got five rebounds tonight. Tatum with it. He's ah, I dribbled right into him. Stolen by Vucevic. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Kidd. And Kidd using that size well inside. Fantastic with the read of the D there and exploiting the weakness. Now here is Hardaway. Jones, no one around him. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Hardaway has got his sixth assist on the night. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They trail by 12. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kristaps Porzingis. And as you'd expect, he's done most of his damage in that low block. I mean, that was the game plan to get it to him in the paint and just let him go to work. And him boy has the big fella delivered. He has just killed them down low. He's been their pulse tonight, the player who's guided them to the win. And it's a win they needed coming off a loss in their last one. Damn, Rex was good. Not good enough though. Not good enough. Now, they're still down by ten. It isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, how they ended this one is much different than how they started it, and that's a shame. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Celtics. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin. Every Woo! time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Perzingis. He was the alpha dog out there tonight. Totally in charge of this game. No matter what the situation was, he was the one to dictate the action. A three from Porzingis. Wow, that pass was terrible. I still shot it, but pass was terrible. Pippen, a three from Drexler. Tries again. And the layup These offensive rebounds. Cullen. Like becoming a true force on the offensive glass. Love how hard Collins goes after those second chance opportunities. We've got a win, though. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA. Nice bounce back win after we get it after that loss. Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.